setting in no go to end The man that ego defend See my left up the room when I hide No fun, we go to the gym when I vibe Go long, it's ain't for you when I like it So got this shit to move on the mic It's bars in the car, episode 32. I've been driving around like I used to, looking for someone to do bars in a car. But uh, just, yeah, just parked up, waiting for someone to show up as usual. Don't know who it's going to be. But uh, yeah, oh, oh. Hey, 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 it's Red B, man. How's it going? Hey, this should be. Bars and beats in the car. That's it. Or yeah. beats and bars in the car. Episode 32. Awesome. Red Beard in the building. Good to be here, guys. Come on, man. If you don't know, obviously, like from that introduction, you know he's a beatboxer. <laughs> this guy could do a lot. Like, man, I mean, I'm sorry, I met you, what, about a year ago, didn't I? Raise yeah, the, about a year ago. Raise the bar. Jam. And I got to see how, how like, because you was good then. And then you even better, like, I see the progression through that whole year as well, man. So it's absolutely wicked to have you on, man. Like, I mean, tell me, yeah, actually, tell me, before we get into a, like, a, you showcase some more stuff. Yeah. Obviously, when when did you start beatboxing? How long did you... So, 2014, I 2014, started. 2014, yeah. yeah. So it's been a long journey. 10 yeah, years, yeah. 10 years, yeah. So just been on the grind, just yeah. making, constantly improving sounds or structure and stuff like that over the years sweet man but yeah it's been it's been a tough journey <laughs> and then red beard from the beard obviously yeah of course yeah. <laughs> well some missing still yeah <laughs> <laughs> so okay i'm gonna say like how many because i know you're very versatile with the sounds how many different genres can you do oh shall i show you yeah, yeah man okay <clears throat> here we go so, start off with some uh hip-hop for you so <laughs> And then uh, got house, so. Drum and bass for the boom. And then uh, also do like dubstep, so um, yeah, it's like so <laughs> sick. Man, I don't know if you can give away any of like, like, I don't know, like the truth, like the teach any of us, but like. Like when you're doing those sounds, like, like the yeah. drum, drum and bass, how long does it take to ever to learn that? Because like, how do you do it? Like, I think with the the basic drum sounds. Yeah. So like the that took a good few months to get the grasp of. Yeah. And then the bass sort of weirdly came naturally to me. Yeah. So I just like, yeah. The, yeah. So I carried on practicing that, and then it got a bit lower in yeah. pitch, and. I think the hardest part was mixing the beats with the bass. Yeah. And that, yeah, I'd say about a good six, seven months it took to get comfortable with it. Wow. Because before that, it was quite like a, could be a painful process. Yeah, so you're yeah. all self-taught as well? Self-taught, Like you've yeah. just gone like on YouTube or when you were younger? Yeah, or... um, for a lot of sounds, I used yeah, YouTube. So and I just learned from influence otherwise at yeah. events and stuff. People, my friends would teach me. So yeah. See people, go and start. You, you. You how you can go on YouTube and learn things, man. You can go learn from like you know what I mean. You don't have to, you know what I mean. You exactly. can self teach yourself these sort of things, like in and many nowadays sort of there's more than there ever was when I started. Yeah. So you can you can learn faster than I did. Yeah. So yeah if you wanted to. <laughs> well, this is this is funny because I've done a, I did a few things in schools for a bit where I was like teaching beatboxing, which I should not be doing. Yeah, because <laughs> all I can do I, is you, I didn't know that. That's I like the oh see I can't even do it well now. Like, no, but that's the. Uh, the um, boom, t boom, clap, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't warmed up. That's what yeah. I used to, honestly, that's what I used to do when I was in school, yeah. Because yeah. at first I thought, oh, that's something different, that's cool. Yeah. And then it became, it's turned from something annoying in my class, you know, yeah, into so. like a this, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, because that's the thing, it's funny, because that's all I had to teach him for the hour, though, was yeah. that. Was that. And, uh, yeah, man. I mean, like, it's crazy. It's crazy because you're doing some big things now, man. Like, as yeah. well, isn't it? Like, 
You're yeah, doing the competitions um, and stuff like that. Got and pub in the park coming up on the, the sixth. Yeah. yeah, where's that? Uh, in Saint Albans. Saint Albans. Oh, yeah. oh snap! Wait, 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 wait. In the park. What Saint Albans Park is that? Is that just the big park? Uh, the massive one. Yeah, it's um. Oh, wait, on the what? Sorry, on the uh, uh, sixth. Six yeah, it's a, September. It's a festival. That's a Friday, but, um, isn't it? Yeah, Friday. Wicked man. And I see all your TikTok stuff, and obviously let's talk about. I've seen you battling on com competitions on like the ones you put up and stuff. You've yeah. been doing competitions and stuff and doing mad stuff like real high up, like in like in, um, finals. And you won some as well, weren't you? And stuff. Yeah. Were, were you um, some smaller yeah. events in the UK I've won. Yeah. Um, Wicked. But I compete in the UK Championship uh, annually. Jeez. And it's, it, annually, it's, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's that the level is ridiculously high. But you're there every yeah. year, so every year. <laughs> <laughs> your level has stayed. Good. Stay consistent. Yeah, yeah, consistent, man. What's it like though, battling? Like, do you ever get nervous or anything like that? Or yeah, I'd say at the start was really oh, you'd feel that horrible, you know, butterfly feeling yeah. coming through. But then I noticed, well, this is me personally, but as I perform, it just fades away. Yeah. So and the more you get used to performing to these large audiences, it's it becomes easier. Yeah. And I try and tell that to people starting out yeah because i can see in their eyes as well that they're bricking it a bit yeah you know but it's natural i suppose and getting your like so when you're battling like how do you know sometimes like what you're going to go with like do you whatever they do you're like right i've got the sort of sound that can bat that and beat that sort exactly of thing. yeah that... you hit the nail on the head yeah. yeah so you sort of figure out a way to like counter what they've done wow. and then if they've done a particular genre you could um either do the same yeah. or try and make it better or you can completely flip it over and do sick. something unexpected, yeah. So sick, man. I'm gonna say, can you give us like a another, yeah, another like little tune sort of yeah, like yeah. whatever you like. I remember, yeah, like whatever you want to do, man. Sweet. Just show us something yeah. sick. I'll give you a, uh, hmm. yeah, I've got a good idea actually. This is yeah. beats on bars in the car. So 32, red beard in a building. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hey Sweet. man, that was freaking <laughs> sick, man. Thank you. That was sick. Shout out your TikTok, by the way, and the stuff you yeah, posted. Um, so my Insta is Redbeard BTK and TikTok is Redbeard Beatbox. Because I've watched me your um, TikToks and stuff where you're going up to people in the street and saying what like, what music yeah. do you like, and then just like that's that's sick, man, as well. And you're getting some good like some good views on there, man. Yeah, so some that's, of them have done yeah, well. Yeah, they've done really good, man. I think. Um, the hardest part about that is actually stopping people to want to be yeah. part of your video. Yeah. I was going to ask that. Like, that's always, that's got to be a hard bit. Yeah, because that's usually like, you right, mate. And they're like, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, man. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, obviously, as well, what I was going to say earlier, like, I've had Paul Cree and uh, Conrad on here before. Oh, also, so they're oh, obviously, Conrad. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, they're both beatboxers and stuff. I maybe say, I don't think you've worked with them before, have you, though? I haven't worked with, Con I know Conrad. You know uh, Conrad, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. runs, um, what is it, the BAC? Yeah, BAC. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome, man. Yeah, because they, they came over and that's what I did with them. So, yeah, yeah. I need to get more beatboxers on these shows, man. Well. <laughs> you should, yeah. 100%, man. I mean, in London, there's loads of us. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you shout out some of the other beatboxers then? As well? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think people that you should work with in London is... There's a guy called ABH, uh, Beatfox. You've got a guy called Wicko, uh, TMY. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Uh, Maloney. Um, there's a guy called Shogo as well. But um, yeah, I'll put you in touch with these yeah, people. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, have you ever had to battle any of them? You know where I was going with that. Like, I want yeah. to know if you ever had to battle any of them. Oh, um, man. Uh, only Tommy, uh, TMY, what's, yeah. What's been your favourite battle? Like, i say my favourite battle over all the years has been against a guy called D'Lo. Is that on uh, YouTube? Uh, on YouTube, yeah. Come on, go find that then. I'm going to put that <laughs> a little... Actually, underneath, I'm going to put the description of where you can find that. Yeah. yeah. But I think it was 
2017, yeah, that was one of my favourite battles I've ever done. Yeah. yeah. It was it was tough. He, he smashed me in it, but it was worth doing. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Man. man, bro. Well, I don't know. I was going to say, if you want to do what, uh, another something out, another one, but I don't know. I, I could spit something over it, but I don't know what I'm going to do. But if you want to, yeah, uh, let's sick, finish yeah. off like that, man. I this think, has been a sick um, episode, bro. I can't believe it's only been 10 minutes. It's been yeah, 10 it's minutes been already, 10 man. Minutes. I didn't even realise. It just passes by. Yeah, it just <laughs> passes by. Um, I'm thinking. I hope I've like said a... like everything about Red. But is there anything else we need to say about you? Um, no, no you pretty uh, much said it all. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> actually, I want to actually ask like, how did you get in contact with? Um, yeah, how did you um, get on raise the bar and stuff like that? Because obviously you went. Obviously that's where I met you. But yeah, how did you find out about it? I mean, did did you get like did the half decent come and like recruit you or like? I know yeah, the beatboxer. So I'm going to bring in over. I think, <laughs> you know? I think originally it was. Um, it might have been Joyce actually. Oh, okay. Uh, does, does she yeah. run Ram Gem? The one that yeah 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 yeah. yeah. She asked Joy, me to yeah. come down. And um, I think Chris was performing. That's sick. So she knew, yeah. she found out about you. said, come down to... Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And from there, uh, Half Decent was just like, oh, yeah, do you want to be a regular act yeah. on my shows? And I thought, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Yeah, because we did Brits and Kane, you didn't show up. <laughs> obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God, yeah. No, not hating on, I like, was just saying what happened. But yeah, and then obviously we did a Half Decent um, album release just a few weeks ago, and that was sick, man. Oh, yeah, it went you off the You killed it, yeah. man. Did You brought down... Um, who came up and rapped with you? Oh, uh, was it Drew? Yeah, yeah, yeah the guy yeah. who, yeah. yeah. I didn't know he rapped for a long time. I had no idea. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He only said it on one of the other recent performances mm. I did there as well. He said, oh, can I spit on this? And I was like, oh, I didn't realise you did. So yeah. he asked me to do, do a bit of like a grime tempo. And I thought, and well, then, yeah, yeah, but it, was, it went better than I thought. <laughs> so I, uh, you call with like a hip hop tempo? Yeah, yeah keep yeah. mixing it up, man, if you want as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <clears throat> all right. I'll let you get started first. Mm. Mm. I'm not tripping on the beat, slipping on the flow, but my similes and metaphors are leaving saying, whoa, take a sip of my style, then take a toast. I'm going to rap like from coast to coast. You know it's me, because I do it really early. Keep it going like really, really sturdy. I don't have an ego, because I'm not that big, but I want rap better than that kid cause I spit fire fit with the fire lyrics make you go and uh retire I'm about to ruin your whole career so two step and get the heck right out of if you're looking for the truth then you're visioning me I'm fresh to death I'm who they're dying to be I'm not a legend in the game but I'm as cool as the sea you can follow my moves while well, I follow the lead but each and every day I try to make it to the top they wish I'd dumb it down they wish that I would stop but nah I never stop like the hands on a clock on my vision of fame they try to set a roadblock what happened to freestyle people that actually rap Write a couple songs, everyone can do that People ask me, have I got any new flows? Well, I'm making up my stuff, yeah? As I go along, yeah, good mood, happy song Give me a hug, pissed off, break Wait, well, don't give up, oh, all I gotta know Is how you feel, right about what happened Cause I, uh, keep it real Look up in the sky, is it a bird, is it a plane? No, it's Martin Slade and I'm a little bit insane To understand what's going on inside my brain So I write it all down, just to maintain A certain bit of reality I'm always juiced up, never out of battery One thing that matters to me when Red Beer hits the beatbox crates. Oh, tragedy, tragedy, sanity. When I'm on the mic, I go on to the next level. Coming in, yo, I got my foot to the pedal. You know we're here, we're down in Boreham Wood. And if you know me, I think you already should know the two of us are going in on a mad one. And we ain't gonna finish, yeah, we ain't done. So understand me, son. I'm after your hunt and I'm running away. Cause now you got a gun. Cause I was just doing my thing, just trying to go for the win. I want to be the rap, rap, rap kingpin. I'm driving up the road, I'm driving. Fast bars in the cast, yo. We know you're gonna last, last, last for episode 32. It's not the last episode, you already knew. We're back all the time with a brand new rhyme or a beat from a man sitting right by my side. Let's go! Hey, yeah, hey, yes, yes, man. man. I was repping. Was hey, man. I just that's a few verses, a little bit of freestyle. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that, that was, was sick. sick. But yeah, I, was, I can't say I was sick myself. That was bad. But you were sick. Oh, you was, yeah, no, you, got, like, you were sick, man. For a freestyle, that was mental. Yeah, oh, man. That was fun, bro. That was fun. Man, like one more time for Redbeard, man, and get him on um, Insta, TikTok. Go see him, sit for September. A lot of people, you are closest in Auburn's, and a lot of people watch this in my area. Just get on a train from Flick or Bedford, and you can go train it straight to St. Auburn's. Then there's like a tiny little walk to that big park where it's yeah. going to be. So go see him. Go see him. Go see him perform. Thanks for having me, bro. Hey, yeah, see you later, bro. Hey, big up Redbeard, man. Wait.